Guys, what's up? How's it going? Hopefully everybody can hear me all right. Guys. Yep, you can. <laughs> so, what's going on? Sorry, late to the show. We've been out flying all darn day. So, it was a, it was a good day. Had to stop and uh, get something to eat real quick. So, a little bit later than usual, but we're here. It's hard to uh, start sometimes on time when it's so nice outside. Got to stay at the field till the sun goes down. But tonight we are going to be uh, unboxing and building the good old Sea Wind and then uh, talking about some new products. So we'll get started. Looks like there's quite a few folks in here. We'll do a little bit of a roll call. Whoop. Don't want to lose my X-Acto knife there. Get this out of the brown box quick. Ugh. All right. So how's everybody going? Uh, doing? Anybody get out and fly this weekend? It was actually pretty beautiful around here. A little bit of uh, north wind yesterday, but uh, today was great, especially towards the nightfall. All right, see if I can get back up in the chat here. So tonight we've got Alan Gentry, Tug Hill RC, EQRC, Michael Rajka, Michael Bear, BD Tennessee, Boss223, Spencer Keith, uh, Pterodactyl, Keith Christie, Eddie K's RC, RC Air Marshal, how you doing buddy? Tug Hill RC, Dana's RC, BD Tennessee, not sure if I said your name yet already. And, sorry I'm trying to scroll, comments uh, pull me back down sometimes. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry, but good to see you all. And uh, yeah, got my good old Pepsi. So we can start some building. Now, nah, the RC Air Marshal said it was supposed to be nasty winds today and then nothing. So disappointed the weatherman sucks right now. Man, you should have went out and flown. Should have had them ready. We, uh, it was only supposed to be 5 to 10 for us today and then it ended up being like nothing. So I was happy with that. I'll take it. Alrighty, so we will get into some building here. This is one that we were going to start on last week, but then we ended up doing the Spitfire, so we will build it this week. Alright, so this is the red one. I wasn't sure what color I pulled down. All right, so in here we have wing, fuselage, and then some boxes with the goodies in it. Mark Buckle, what's up, buddy? How's it going, man? He was out at the field with us flying today. So was our buddy Adam. Jason Jackson, how you doing, buddy? Got out and flew the stick today. Awesome, man. Sticks are fun. All right, so that is the main wing. Wow, that thing's actually really sturdy. There's some carbon rods that run through here. It looks like that are... Uh, Molded into the foam. Servo covers there. All right, then these look like our wing tips. Then our tail portion. Let's see what else we got here. This is kind of my first look at one of these. Oop. Here's the fuselage. 
This thing will do some crazy flat spins and stuff too. Um, I know just because Captain Mike actually used to have one of these that would do some pretty nuts things. He really liked flying his. And from what I've seen, it's got plenty of power to uh, take off from grass if you want it to. You can put wheels on this one, but I guess it's got enough power you don't need to. Alrighty, so there's, looks like our hatch for the wing. This is a very interesting bird. Has a, let's see. Has a 1050 kV motor on it. I'm not sure the ESC, it's kind of hard to see. There's a little spot right here underneath it for cooling, but let's see what the manual says here. All right, get some of this other stuff out of our way. So 1050 kV motor and a 40 amp ESC according to the manual. Make sure there's nothing else we're missing. Holy smokes. Yeah, it was a good day of flying today, guys. Me and Ryan got some really cool footage of a bunch of airplanes today, so... Be looking out, especially on Ryan's channel. He'll have some cool stuff coming. All right. Just getting out our landing gear parts and pieces here. Trying to get some of this stuff out of our way quick. Holy smokes, that's a that is a thick canopy. Ah, so those are servo wires that come down from there. So here's the ESC, yeah, 40 amp. Or we'll probably do something with that. It's got a Decent sized battery bay. You can stick the battery pretty far up in there. Looks like we can fit some pretty decent sized stuff in there. I'm gonna probably try a 3300, of course. I like flying those batteries in some of these 4S birds. Or this might actually be 3S though. Yeah, this calls for 3S. So 3S 3300 in this one. We have some interesting pilots. Some World War II aviators are flying the sea wind today. <laughs> All right, there's the canopy. We'll glue that on here in a little bit. It actually might be kind of cool with this canopy. You can probably spray the inside of this black too and just leave it black and keep the pilots out. I do that quite often with some of my canopies. This one, one you can definitely do it with. It might look pretty cool to black it out. Michael Bear said, I hit a tree tonight. Watch the lights bounce almost all the way to the ground. <laughs> yeah, I've hit a tree once or twice before. Those things will jump right out in front of you. All right, so let's see what the manual says for our first step here. I've never put one of these together. Mike Bird, how you doing, buddy? Wayne's RC, how are you? Let's see. So they say to start on the tail portion, glue the wings on, canopy. All right, so there's a lot of gluing on this one, actually, from the looks of it. with a well I'm not sure what size prop this is because it doesn't say let's see let's 
curious what size the prop was. A 10-6, it says. parts and pieces out here that must be the rudder uh -huh, yeah it bolts on here like that interesting that's pretty cool wonder if that yeah you can keep that on all right so first step in the per the manual is putting this little piece on here with, whoops, sliding underneath the table here, these two little screws. All righty. Oop, need my screwdriver out of here. Mason Jackson, yes I am. Uh, Wild Bill, yeah, it does come with wheels. It comes with a landing gear set here. Um, and they make it pretty easy to take in and out. So you can go from uh, flying at the field to flying on water. Trying to get it at a good position to screw this little piece in here without knocking my screws off the table. tail section here. Oop. Dave's RC, <laughs> or uh, I'm sorry, uh, RC Air Marshal. He said, so here's a question. Has Dynam ever discontinued a model? <laughs> um, yeah, actually, the, the only one that I know of since I've been, been here, uh, the only one that they've discontinued was the uh, Balsa Smooth, and I believe the Foam Smooth is discontinued also, the like pattern uh, bird that they used to have. Other than that, there's there's not many I can think of. I think they used to have like a 64 or 70 millimeter small F-16 EDF, but that hasn't been on the market for a long, long, long time. All right, so this looks pretty simple. Just take some gluing. We will put this on first if that's what it wants us to do. Jordan Doyle, hey, how you doing, buddy? build besides the gluing parts. 
And gluing's not hard to do, it just thinks waiting for it to dry. All right, got those through there. So, got out and uh, flew the 6S Gloucester Meteor today. What a game changer from 4S. Oh my goodness. Me and Ryan could not believe it. It, it, it should have been 6S from the start. That plane is absolutely awesome. dry fit and everything quick before we put glue on it. Lots of glue. Whoa, I'm getting it all over myself now. Yep, I'm doing a good job of getting it all over everything, actually. Alrighty. You know what? This actually might fit in a stand. I didn't know if it would, but it might actually. Dale, good to see you in here. Sorry, I'm trying to get some of this glue that I have coming out of here all over the place. Straightened out. Jeez Louise, got it all over. Jackson's RC Aviation, how you doing, buddy? Alrighty. Next is this little tail section here, the upper half of the rudder. There's that part. It's coming together. Not too bad of a build. Just some little gluing here and there, that's all. You can actually probably speed up the, the process to uh, building if you use like a five minute epoxy on the parts. Um, I'm just using the supplied glue. It works really well. Just takes a little longer to set up. All right, so the next step in here, let's see. The next step, they want you to put the prop on. Interesting. I think we're going to put the wing on first before the prop, because that might get in our way. I have to glue these end pieces on, but <clears throat> I'll wait to do that until the end. Just so I don't have to worry about knocking glue joints loose. Oops. And... this off of here. Okay. 
Okay, that fits in there real nice. Take our wing screws. the beaver we have on special and then let me see yeah so for this particular model um the, we have the red version bind and play that's on sale right now for 169 the bind and play version is um, we also have the plug and play version and that's 169 also if you don't want the receiver um, but the bind and play model is the same price as the plug and play model right now since it's on special holy smokes can't tell if I'm hitting the spot or not there. EQRC, yeah, waiting on the Green Hawker Hunter. So am I. I've, I've been waiting to see that thing myself. Hopefully we'll see it sooner than later. Yeah, this is a really wild looking plane, Wreckham. Trying to get the screw in here, being a, a little bit of a pain. Rage, uh, we should have. Um, most of the parts back in. What uh, specifically were you looking for for the T28? There. Oh, that's why I got glue around the end of it. That would make sense as to why it wouldn't go in. I don't have threading issues. I'm going to switch screws on that one. Hopefully this one's big enough. Oh, nope, too short. Have to use one of the long ones. Yeah, if I can get it out. There we go. All right, try this again. There it goes. Perfect. Put our Y harness on here. This just goes up through this little opening. Alright, 
so that's pretty simple, painless. Let's see where that hatch is at for this thing. So this Ah, okay. So that actually tongue and grooves on here. You could probably add some Velcro if you wanted, but I think what oh excuse me, what they want you to do is glue it. There's some holes in the, the top here where they've made preparation so when you put this on you can still get your wing screws out. So I guess we will throw a little bit of glue on that. Not a whole lot, just in case I need to take it back off for some reason. Oops, I'm getting it all over the wing now. Wrong way. I always like to like pick this stuff up and get it all nice and tacky. All right, cool. I think I've got more glue on me tonight than the airplane, but. Tug hill, yeah, we'll probably fly it off water, fly it off land, do a little bit of everything with this one. I'm excited. I probably will, uh, it'll probably see water first just because I'm really excited to uh, get that Spitfire out that we built last week. So, and the beaver. So we'll have to take a lake day one of these days and go do all of the water planes. All right. I am kind of curious to see what this looks like with the gear on it though too. But I'll have to flip it over for that. We have a lot of glue setting up on it right now. So we probably won't at the moment. But the build on this is actually pretty painless. I am going to paint this black, I think. So I'm going to leave this unglued for now so I can shoot the inside of that black. Cause I think that might look kind of cool. I actually might end up painting the whole darn plane. Who knows? All right, so let's put the prop on here. See what it looks like. Making sure I had the prop lined up right before I get all of that put on there. I have all my tools out in the darn trailer again this week. I don't know if I have anything to properly tight this up with. We'll have to come back to it. started in here all right So that's all on there. Looks pretty good. Not too bad. Definitely an interesting looking bird, but should be a fun one to fly. I'm actually going to put a put all my extras for the wheels and stuff in my Ertz tray here.
All right. Maybe we'll, we will throw some decals on it so it's not all plain Jane white. Now, the question is, where is the box at so we can cheat on stickers? All right, I see it over there. Tip should look cool. I just know that if I put them on, I'm going to end up breaking them off, moving it around. Oops. Well, they fit nice and snug, actually. So here's the wing tips. Where's that? There it is. Get some glue on them. But yeah, it looks pretty interesting with the wingtips on it. It's pretty cool looking. I'm curious to see how this flies. Take these off for now. And we'll throw some decals on it. Just so we can get a look for it. And then we'll uh, get into the next venture of the night. Yeah, Brian, it's a it's a pretty decent sized airplane. Let's see here. I'm trying to look at their decals, how they have all this set up on here. Ooh. Worst part's getting the decals off the sheet. All right, so it looks like this one goes over here. Ah, it goes the other way. Oops, I'm already knocking my glue loose. What's next here? It looks like this one goes on the tail portion back here. Yeah, those receivers aren't too bad to set up, uh, EQ. This one goes like this. Then we have this one. <laughs> that is kind of funny, BD. He said, it's inter interesting how Dynam just throws some foam in the decal sheet in the box and sends it. Yeah, they just, <laughs> it is very interesting. Man, sometimes me and these decals do not get along as far as trying to get them off the sheet, though. There we go, finally. Let's 
So I think this one runs underneath, so I'm going to have to tilt it. some wing design decals that go on this way. Right, yeah. Whoops. I almost tore this one the way this decal is set up. Holy smokes. Ah. There we go. This is going to be an interesting, to, interesting one to apply correctly. How in the heck do they want you to do this one? Holy smokes, that was kind of a pain in the butt a little bit. Holy cow, oh, you know what I'm going to do here. Cut this thing. There we go. Cut the decal, make it a little bit easier to work with. And I can overlap it there. Well, oh, it's going to run into that one, but oh well. There's that part. This big sea wind logo goes on the other side, I guess. Yeah. All right, there's part of it. It's getting there. Oh, uh, Roach Coach, hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, sorry if I missed the, uh, oh, Hamilton Singer, how you doing? Just saw you in here as well. Ken Sprouse, how you doing? Um, battery size, I think it called for a 3S2200. Yeah, 3S2200, um, that's what it calls for in the ma manual. There's plenty of room in there, though. You can fit bigger, bigger battery sizes for sure. Yeah, it does, uh, BD. <laughs> it looks like something from Star Trek, he said. Yes, it does. It's very, and very, a very interesting bird, to say the least. Holy cow. Oh, geez. Why do they have all this incorporated into one sticker? Holy smokes. That's what I call a sticker monstrosity. Holy smokes.
Trying to match this up with the other side should be fun. Whoops. I'm gonna do like I did this side and set this line first. This is a super big pain. I'm gonna cut it once I get it to where I want this one piece and do it like the other side, but I wanna get it laid out correctly first. Let's see here. Where'd my little knife go? There it is. I remember how I did this now. There we go. Jeez Louise. Whew. All right, there's that part. Those wings were the hardest part because that darn sticker is so big, I ended up cutting it and redoing it. So. These kind of like run into each other now, but it looks kind of cool. All right, now let's see what else is here. Oh yeah, this side. All right, almost finished with these decals.
there we go. Cool. Had to do a little bit of trim work where that uh, servo linkage comes out there. But other than that, that's it for the most part. I'm going to glue on the wingtips here so we can let them sit. And then we will move on. Yeah, yeah, basically, <laughs> BD. <laughs> All right, so there's that bad boy. It looks pretty good. It's very interesting looking plane, but uh, like one of you guys said, it looks like something out of Star Trek or something, but yeah, it's pretty neat. I can't wait to fly it. It should be pretty cool. If I can't wait, I'll end up putting the wheels on it and just flying it at the field or seeing if it'll take off from uh, grass like Captain Mike used to. There's that side. Should have found some tape or something actually. I'm going to cut some off that box to put on top of there. Just to make sure that doesn't fall off of there. All right, there we go. I put quite a fair amount of glue on these two just in case they drag an edge or uh, these are gonna kind of be your supports when you're in the water too, so. Leave that on there and let all that stuff set up and that's about it. Looks pretty cool though. Definitely excited to try it. Ah, Nudes, take it easy, buddy. Thanks for joining in, man. Good seeing you. Thank you to everyone sticking around late on this Sunday night and uh, joining us for some fun building. And uh, next, we're going to talk about some new products coming to BitGo Hobby yet again. So pretty excited to um, talk about that stuff. Uh, first, I don't know. It's, it's coming... Coming up pretty quick is the Pilot Ryan Media Fly-In, so I want to make sure all of you guys uh, get registered for that. They, they love to know who's coming so they can get kind of everything uh, taken care of beforehand, so they kind of know how much food to get and tents to get and all that kind of stuff. Uh, registration, you can get a tent, I think, still uh, right now when you do book for registration on the Imperial RC website, uh, so check that out. I will put up a... Uh, little picture here that kind of explains everything for you guys. Run and grab something real quick we can talk about when I come back. I'll be back in about two seconds.
All right, so we're back. I had to run and grab this thing real quick. There we are. So yeah, do any of you guys know what this plane is by chance? I'm sure some of you do. Let's see. Sorry, just trying to catch up in the chat here. Richard Webb, how you doing? I think you guys were talking about uh, some stuff. Yeah, Sea Mafia. What's up, buddy? Yeah, OMP. That is right. This is the OMP Challenger. And uh, yes, RC Air Marshal, he asked. Bitco is going to start carrying OMP, and yes, we are. So uh, from here on out, we're going to start adding models as they come back in stock. But we will be carrying OMP products now, so you'll be able to get the Challenger. Um, we have the Bighorn um, and a few other models coming. Uh, some of the 3D stuff, and uh, there's like an Edge 540. There's, there's multiple different products, so super pumped up. These things fly really nice. You're going to see a bunch of videos coming from me and Ryan on both of these birds um, and some of the other OMP stuff. Um, Ryan actually has a video worked up on this one that we'll be dropping um, probably fairly soon, I'd imagine. Um, so, yeah, we are super excited over here. It's going to complement um, the rest of our balsa line pretty well. Uh, along with our dancing wing products. So super happy. These are in stock right now. Link is in the description right by the show special. So if you're interested in one of these, um, you can go right down in the YouTube description there and click on it or go through your favorite affiliates because they do appreciate that and it helps them out a lot. Uh, so RC Air Marshal, he said, awesome. Are you going to carry their M2 helicopters? Yeah, so... Uh, been talking to the boss man about getting their helicopters. Um, I've flown helicopters for a while now. It's been probably about a year since I've had my hands on the sticks of a heli. I do play it on the sim all the time. I, I do like flying helicopters and um, yeah, that's something I'm planning on getting us in here as well. Uh, yeah, those, those helicopters look really neat and they're pretty affordable. So definitely. Ah, Michael Rosh said, I'm building the edge right now from OMP. I have one behind the wall right here that, um, excuse me, that I'm going to be building here soon as well. Can't wait. Um, I'm probably going to pair it with uh, one of the Tomcat power systems. Uh, not too sure yet. I'm excited to get into that build, though. So, yeah, super excited. Yeah, George Watts said, cool, I have the OMP Bighorn, nice flying plane. That, we haven't flown that one yet, but it does look beautiful. Thanks, George Watts, appreciate it. You know what, I have the big. give me one second, I'll grab one. Guess I should have grabbed this one when I grabbed uh, the Challenger here. But yeah, here's the Bighorn. This plane is beautiful also. Yeah, I am, I am pumped to have these. Uh, cannot wait. This thing is going to be super fun to fly. Uh, we have not made in this one yet, but has super strong magnets, nice little areas. Uh, I don't know if this one comes off. I think it does, yeah. Oh, there. Those magnets are super strong, but so you have receiver access in here to get to everything. It's got a nice little aluminum knob there, so you're not uh don't need to put any tape on it to get your hands on it. Nice little nylon bolts here to connect the wing. Um, two servo leads each side for flaps and ailerons. But yeah, super nice little bird. This just tongue and grooves right in here and then clicks in. Plenty of area for battery in here. Nice battery strap, wooden tray. 
uh, XT60 connector. Ugh, there we go. Oops, I'm gonna break it. There we go. But yeah, super excited for this thing. Knock it into them. There we go. So yeah, cannot wait, guys. Yeah, the Edge, you know what? Hey, you guys want to see an unboxing of the Edge? I have an Edge, and I'm super excited to take it out of the box and check it out. Should we do that? Can't build it, because I know it'll take a while, but we can certainly unbox the thing and take a, take a peek at it. Eddie K, you know what, I'm not sure if OMP still has the big profile planes or not, to be honest with you. Um, uh, we're just starting to work with them, so I, I'm, I'm actually myself just kind of figuring out what's out there and what we can get and all that kind of good stuff. So, super excited. <laughs> you said you're going to rifle roll the edge. <laughs> Yeah, the edge looks sweet. Ken Sprouse giving thumbs up. All right, we can go ahead and unbox one of those bad boys. Give me one second. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Might as well take two with me at once. All right, so I popped this one open to peep it out a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, <laughs> there's the air parcel. So that's like asking an addict if they want another bump. Yes, we want to see it. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I'll have this together soon. Maybe by next weekend if we're lucky. If it, sometimes it gets busy around here and it's it's hard to get things together sometimes. But this is actually a decent sized bird. Um, I'm a little foggy on the specs. If there's some, if there's a manual in here, I will. I can go over specs with you a little bit. But this is this bad girl. Oh, I'm I'm super pumped to fly this bird. Nice hard mount there for your gear. Set this over here. A little sticker sheet. Let's see, all right. Then we've got our tail section here. Kind of seeing all this stuff for the first time myself with you guys, so. All right. <laughs> Captain Photon. <laughs> uh, I don't know if those posters are family friendly or not. I went to bat for you. I, I asked and they wouldn't approve. I can only do so much. All right, so what else do we have in here? Let's see. Rudder. That's gonna look cool. I like the checker. The checkerboard looks pretty sweet. I don't know if we can mock this up enough or not. There we go. 
I'm just trying to mock it up the best I can. Looks pretty good though. I am super excited. Let's bust out this cow. Get the cow on the front of this thing here. Ooh, yeah. So nice fiberglass cow. That thing is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Slide that bad boy on here. Such as that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty decent sized bird. I cannot wait. It's got a nice whoop, little latch here for the battery hatch. Oops, you want me to slide that off? Holy smokes, plenty of room in there. Plenty of room for activities in there. And they give you a nice foam stop up here too, so if you want to slide your battery all, all the way forward, you can and it won't get into the, the wood up there. Pretty nifty. Oops. Trying to slide this on here. I'm getting getting taped up. All right. Oh, that's awesome, Michael. So this one you will have to source um, your electronics like servos and motor ESC, but not that big of a deal. Curious to see what's in this goodie bag here. Probably all of our nuts, bolts. Yep, nuts, bolts, tail wheel, battery strap, wheel set, wood mount cover for the landing gear, and some more Velcro. So pretty much everything we need. Nice beef control horns there. Those are actually carbon. All right. <laughs> yeah, this is an awesome bird. Yeah, uh, Air Marshal, uh, we're, we're working on that actually, buddy. We are working on that. So this, huh. Oh, I see. All right, we can mock this up. We just have to slide out our rudder here I have mocked up. If I can get it out. There we go. Woo. Trying to do a balancing act here. Pull out that little filler. Make sure I have this the right way. That just slides right in there like that. Wow, that fits really nice too. Put the filler in. Now we can put our rudder back on. I was planning on just unboxing this thing, but I'm dying to see it kind of uh, mocked up and put together somewhat. Yeah, there we go. I love that checkered on the tail. That's like my favorite part. I love that stuff. I love that. All right. Ooh, this is pretty neat. Ha! So that's nice. So it comes with a wing bag for your, uh, for your wings. Check it out. So transporting, yeah, look at that little divider in there for each wing half. So you're never going to bang up your, ah, that's awesome that it comes, that's pretty neat. I like that. Nice little touch there. All right. Cool. Ha. I'm digging that. All right. Let's see. So there's our wings. 
Okay. Fiberglass uh, wheel covers here. Nicely painted. Those are pretty as well. Missed a few things here. Ah, they give you some white touch-up paint. It says use for elevator halves. That's what it says on the bottle here. So we'll have to figure out where they want you to use that at. What is in here? Ah, the spinner, I bet's in here. Yep. So that's pretty cool. I'd imagine this is to allow for airflow on this spinner. So it's got an aluminum open back, and then the front half of the spinner is all kind of uh, cut out and beveled to where it's going to get air on the inside of that, pushing it through. So that's, that's pretty neat. Pretty nifty. It looks like 2.5 millimeter Allen screws, get it done, getting that apart. That's pretty interesting. Another sticker sheet there. And then looks like last but not least is our carbon fiber spar. Put that over there. Oh yeah, nice thick carbon fiber spar there. Yeah, that is the fancy spinner for electrics. <laughs> ah, Michael Rasha said, uh, only hiccup so far is depending on what servos you use, you have to make the servo openings bigger. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that when we're building it, depending on what servos we use. See what she looks like with the wings on. So hard. Once you take them out of the box, not to put the darn things together. I do like how this is all pre-installed though. You don't have to glue any of this on. Everything's done for you, so that's nice. Even the elevator half um, is glued together. The only thing you're gonna have to glue as far as control surfaces is just the rudder. <laughs> yeah, it did look like a wiffle ball. <laughs> All right, there's that side. It's a little nylon bolt that holds this bad boy on right there. quick like I said I didn't see a manual in there so I'm not sure like what size motor or prop it calls for um, but I do know the specs are online because uh, I was looking at that the other night guys can kind of get a good look at how big this bird is now check it out oh yeah that's a pretty nice plane I'm definitely digging it tail looks nice 
Check out the undercarriage here. So this is the bottom of it. It's kind of just like pretty much plain white, some blue little artistic things on there, but definitely be able to tell up from down really well. I am super excited to get this one up in the air. I haven't had a, a balsa kind of 3D sport plane like this since I was younger, so this is gonna be super fun. Cannot wait. Wow, Bill said, what is the weight? You know what, That's, I, I don't know since I don't have the manual, I'm not too sure. I mean, it's, it's actually really light. If I had to guess, this thing doesn't weigh more than four or five pounds, just as is. Maybe less, I'm, I don't know, it is, it's super light. Ah, oh, this is a 3D plane for the most part, I'm pretty sure, Air Marshal. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And then, these are optional. You can put these on if you want. They just bolt right on real easily. You just have to do a little bit of trimming right here to lock them in place from what it looks like. But yeah, pretty neat bird. I don't know if I'll put these on or not. I kind of like them without it, to be honest with you. I guess we'll see. But yeah, I'm super excited to fly this thing. Good night, Jackson RC. Thanks for joining, buddy. both me and Ryan flying this stuff so definitely stay tuned I'll have some videos coming out later either uh, midweek maybe a little bit later in the week depends on how quick I can get them edited and stuff uh, we shot a lot of video today so it was super fun we are uh, coming up on midnight though guys so we'll go ahead and take any little last minute questions and answers and stuff like that and probably be boogieing on out of here to get ready for our magnificent Monday tomorrow. <laughs> it's always busy around here, which is a good thing. We like that. And, uh, yeah, cannot wait. Cannot wait to fly some more of this stuff. Weather's been finally getting a little bit better around here. If uh, the weatherman could get that darn wind to calm down, we'd be really looking good. Tonight, was we were really fortunate. And uh, midway through the day, it calmed down quite a bit. There, there really wasn't too much wind at all. So... A little headwind isn't isn't bad, but hard for uh, filming to present some of these things nicely when they're getting knocked all around. Good night, Mason Jackson. Have a good one, buddy. So yeah, OMP is the place to be at Big Go Hobby. Cannot wait. We're gonna have a bunch of fun with this stuff. Um, and, and a lot of these products I'll have, to have at the shows this year also be flying them, demoing them, uh, have some product to sell here and there as well. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to see all of you guys at the show. And don't forget about the Pilot Ryan Media Fly-In coming up the 12th to the 16th of May um, right down at Imperial RC Club in Florida. We cannot wait. Uh, tons of you guys are going to be there. Uh, don't forget to register. We cannot wait to see and meet all of you guys. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Tons of your favorite YouTubers down there. Uh, myself and Pilot Ryan, uh, Bitco Hobby will be bringing product to sell and tons of prizes for you guys. So yeah, cannot wait to see you and definitely attend. All right. Uh, Frankie, these are not on the site yet, so I'm not sure um, as far as the price goes, um, what they will be yet. Um, I do know the OMP Challenger um, special 
Um, they are 5% off. They're usually $199.99. Uh, right now you can get it for $189. So uh, it's a 5% discount um, on the Challenger. So if anybody's looking for that, link is in the description of this YouTube video. So you can go down and click right through it to get to it. Um, or yeah, click through your favorite affiliates that have uh, um, affiliate links here at Bitco Hobby. Uh, they really do appreciate it. I bet you are, Air Marshal. <laughs> ah. ah, Paul McNeil said I can't. I, he can't wait to fly his stork. Me neither. You know, I have that thing like pretty much done. I ran out of glue. I need to get some more glue for it. Um, just to finish up some things here and there. I'm super excited to fly the uh, the couple that we have as well. So. Awesome. Well, I think we're gonna wrap it up, guys. It's going on midnight. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining in on a late Sunday night. Um, we try to get them started at 9 o'clock, but sometimes when it's an awesome day of flying and we're getting back here late, it uh, takes some time to get back to the show after we get everything in here and unloaded and ate real quick and set up and going. So, yeah, once again, thanks, guys, and we'll see you all next weekend. Bye.